On July 19, 2025, Australia conducted its first operational live fire of the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System NASAMS, during the Multinational Talisman Sabre 2025 exercise. Operated by the 16th Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery, this marked the system's formal entry into service under Project Land 19 Phase 7B. The engagement validated NASAMS, ability to detect, track, and neutralize multiple aerial threats under live conditions. Shield system specs and configuration. Missiles used. The system employs the AIM-120 AMROM missile, engagement range approximately 25 to 30 km, with AMROM or exceeding 40 km, and is now also certified for AIM-9 Sidewinder from a mobile launcher. Launch platforms. Uses fixed canister launchers and a Hockey High Mobility Launcher HML, variant flatbed Thales Hockey 4x4, capable of carrying six missiles, either AMROM or Sidewinder, or mixed loadouts. Integration. Includes C Technologies AESA radar and electro-optical sensors. Fire control is managed via distributed fire distribution centers, FDCs, offering seamless command and control within a network defense grid. Gear Significant Achievements. First live fire of NASAMS with MROM occurred in November 2023 at Woomera with Australia's enhanced NASAMS system. In May June 2025, Australia became the first nation in the world to fire a Sidewinder missile from a NASAMS HML, a highly agile infrared guided interceptor ideal for low flying or stealthy threats. Compass strategic implications and broader context. Enhancing air defense posture. NASAMS forms the core of Australia's short-range ground-based air defense SHORAD, replacing legacy systems like RBS-70. The capability is a step change, enabling engagement beyond line of sight, targeting cruise missiles, UAVs, aircraft, and guided weapons at longer ranges, all within a mobile, networked architecture. Broader Defense Strategy NASAMS deployment aligns with Australia's 2023 Defense Strategic Review which called for accelerating missile defense programs like Land 19 and ensuring integrated air and missile defense capability. Australia is also pursuing longer-range strike capabilities, including precision strike missiles for HIMARS and SM-2SM-6 interceptors for its Navy, under multi-billion dollar programs to deter threats in the Indo-Pacific region. Organizational Structure The NASAMS and HIMARS forces are part of the re-raised 10th Brigade, officially stood up in early 2024, incorporating the 16th Regiment and later units under defense reorganization. Feature details. Current capability to NASAMS batteries with AMROM, transitioning to include Sidewinder from HML. Live fire debut first AMROM-based operation in November 2023, full exercise use in July 2025. Mobility platform Hockey 4x4 HML carrying up to six missiles mix loadout of Sidewinder and AMROM. Coverage range approximately 30 km, AMROM, up to approximately 40 km, AMROM or Sidewinder effective for low altitude threats. Integrator partners Raytheon Australia, Kongsberg, C Technologies, Thales Australia. Strategic role SHORAD anchor, key element of broader integrated air and missile defense posture. Pushpin Final Thoughts Australia's successful introduction of NASAMS, including the world's first Sidewinder-capable hockey launcher, represents a major leap in modernizing its ground-based air defense. These developments are not just about hardware, they symbolize Australia's growing strategic commitment, technical innovation, and alignment with allied defense standards in response to rising regional threats.